Kugor Nagashlem to Udongsan Hima. The cabinet colleagues and the officials and some of the deputy commissioners, we were together to review the situation that we have seen in the last few weeks and months. After reviewing the entire situation, we have seen that the number of cases, especially in high uh, zones like uh, East Khasi Hills, have come down by a significant number. We have also seen the positivity rate decline. But as I was mentioning earlier, uh, yesterday, that uh, though the numbers are coming down, the positivity rate still remains at a double digit, which is a matter of concern. So though we are seeing a trend that is showing some kind of a relief and indicating to some kind of an improvement in the overall situation, we are nowhere close to letting our guards down or letting taking things easy. So therefore, though it has been very difficult for the people of the state, especially for Shillong and East Khasi Hills, the cabinet and the government has decided that we'll continue the lockdown for at least one week more. I know that a lot of people will face difficulties and challenges, but the health aspect is far more important to each and every one of us. As I speak, as I said, 104 people are fighting for their lives in different hospitals. And today itself, we have lost so many precious lives. So therefore, though it's a very tough decision, I urge and appeal to the people to please cooperate and work together with the government so that we are once and for all able to bring things under complete control. I'm positive that in the coming week, after this next one week is over, we should be able to see things ease down a bit more. Early to say, but looks like if we can control things in the next one week, if we all work together, if we're all committed, and we all simply bear this next one week, I'm sure that in the coming week after that, we should be able to see things improving drastically. But in the meantime, in the next one week, we have allowed, or we are allowing the deputy commissioners to open up economic activities on a need basis. So therefore, if the deputy commissioners feel that certain sectors can be opened or need to be opened up, certain activities can and need to be opened up, which will not uh, give a huge risk in terms of gathering, we are allowing the deputy commissioners the liberty to allow those need-based activities to be opened up even in the coming week, apart from the other activities which we have already opened up in this current week. Number two, we have also allowed the subdivision and the block officials, that is the BDOs and the SDOs also to recommend to the Deputy Commissioner to allow rural activities, rural economic activities, depending on the prevalence. We realize that though the numbers are high, there are many areas which don't have very high numbers. There are areas which uh, can have certain economic activities, but no gatherings, but can have economic activities which may be very important for the livelihood of the people, uh, but may not have the kind of uh, uh, effect on the spread of the virus. So those activities also, especially in the rural areas where the livelihoods have been hit very hard, we have given the permission to the Deputy Commissioner to take recommendations from the SDOs and BDOs and on the prevalence basis of the virus, the DCs can allow other economic activities also in the rural areas.